The pandemic has had a profound and sudden impact on higher education institutions in the country. But in the University of Southern Mindanao, we are proud of how we have risen to the moment and shown what we are made of. Today, we shall witness our first ever virtual state of the university address. In addition to marking the beginning of a new academic year, this year's State of the University Address offers an opportunity for the USM family to celebrate our collective successes and to look forward to the shared work of the coming year. My warmest greetings to the USM community, to our various partners in development, and to the different stakeholders of the university in this region. The majority of what the university has accomplished over the past year is due in part to everyone's extraordinary efforts. We have put in the spirit of community and collaboration in everything we do. We have shown our dominant spirits and our resilience in the face of uncertainty. For all of this and more, I'm extremely grateful and I give everyone a standing ovation. Today, let us step back and take stock on what we have accomplished so far in the previous years. In its vision to become one of the leading state universities, not only in the region but also in the country, the University of Southern Mindanao during the past seven years has pursued and remained committed in carrying out its mandates in instruction, research, extension, and resource generation. For instruction, to maintain the quality and relevance of education, the University accomplished the following. Maintained Level 4 status as State University one of the few SUCs in the country with the College of Agriculture as Center of Excellence and College of Veterinary Medicine and Biological Sciences as Centers for Development. Subjected several of our programs to accreditation by the Accrediting Agency of Chartered Colleges and Universities in the Philippines. Recertified to ISO 9001-2015 standards for the main campus while the Kidapawan City campus passed the first surveillance for the same accreditation. Performed above the national passing rates for programs with licensure exams and produced 18 top notchers. Institutionalized the grant of incentives to top performers in licensure exams. Simplified the enrollment process from 7 to 3 steps which relieves students from long queues. Adopted online payment scheme for tuition fees. Send faculty members to top universities inside the country and overseas for further studies. Serve as DepEd's conduit for the senior high school program. Opened three more external campuses in Alamada, Libungan, and Alusan. Soon to rise our campuses at Mlang, and Antipas, Cotabato. Recognized as top 7 among 30 schools as best mechanical engineering schools in the Philippines for 2020 by Engineers Now, a prominent online magazine for the engineering community. Trained the faculty members in using the learning management system, better known in USM as the Virtual Learning Environment or VLE, and currently updated the VLE into version 4.0 to better cater the online needs of our students. Launched the Hati Dunung Saradjo, a radio-based instruction via DXBL Cool 94.9 FM and DXBL Facebook page to intensify further its mode of instruction. And the Talakayan Saradjo to answer students' inquiries relative to the difficulties encountered during the pandemic. Distributed 390 brand new laptop units amounting to 18.8 .8 million and 100 accounts of pocket Wi-Fi amounting to 2.28 million to faculty members in support to the flexible delivery of learning and teaching. Upgraded internet bandwidth in the main campus to 300 Mbps for faster connectivity. 
added an additional 10,000 accounts of Google Workspace to increase the USM electronic mails to 35,000 accounts. Subscribe to Cloud Server for faster and uninterrupted service of the university's VLE. Veterinary medicine licensure exams above the national passing rate. USM Kidapawan City Campus registered a high passing rate in the September 2021 Electrical Engineer Licensure Examination and the Master Electrician Licensure Examination. USM's rating is higher than the national passing rate. Selected as grantee recipient of the Access and Competitiveness through Internationalization of Higher Education, a project implemented by the British Council and the Commission on Higher Education, and awarded Certificate of Authority to reopen for the conduct of limited face-to-face -face classes for BS Nursing Program. In our pursuit to be a research university, USM has intensified efforts in the publication and fund sourcing. To mention some, completed, published, and presented 150 industry-based researches in local, national, and international research fora. Established the Wildlife Rescue Center. Partnered and collaborated with various international funding agencies such as Asia Griffith and the Queensland and sourced out over 1.3 million Australian dollars and another 481.2 million from national line agencies such as DOST, Picard, DBAR, CHED, DSWD, and TESDA. Develop and commercialize five hybrid and open pollinated varieties of corn, three cacao, and molecular diagnostic kits for genetic identity of plant varieties. Shifted to electronic open access platform of USM researches, which resulted to 406 citations in 188 articles in refereed publications. Established a peer-reviewed scientific publication devoted to publish a wide range of researches on agriculture including agricultural development, extension, and technology. Develop information, education, and communication materials for cacao and were made available online. Partnered with DOST under Tuklas Luna's program, studying various plants for its potential cure against cancer. Identified by DOST under its Science for Change program as the niche center in the region for cacao R&D and recently launched the USM Cacao R&D Center. Received copyright from Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines for three computer programs namely USM Document Routing System, the Automated System for Organizational Election, and the USM Library Information System. USM is currently implementing the USM Future Thinking for Food Security Systems, Innovations, and Sustainability Program, where USM provides capacity building on futures thinking to leaders, faculty, and researchers at the university, and collaborating HEIs and agencies. My warmest greetings to the organizers and participants of the University of Southern Mindanao Futures Thinking Masterclass. I fully support USM's effort to promote futures literacy in your institution. Futurist Professor Suhail Inayatullah said, futures literacy is a national competitive advantage. Educating our people is the first step in building a community of futures thinkers who will use futures thinking as a tool to help us build back a better Philippines. In extension, USM continued to connect, link, and support the community through its extension programs like food hygiene, manufacturing practices, and safety, community-based sustainable animal disease control program, Farmers Training on Information and Communication Technology, Cacao Production, Organic Vegetable Production, other extension programs which cater to the needs of the community and strengthened partnership with its stakeholders. Ford's a Memorandum of Agreement with the Provincial Government Unit for the use of the USM Medical Facility and the USM Hostel as medical and isolation facilities during the pandemic produced IEC materials which benefited around 9,000 clients. 
sponsored two Balik Scientist programs which facilitated the sharing of expertise in engineering and biological sciences. Prepare the University for Agrotourism with the establishment of the Rio Grande Mindanao Agrotourism. Renewed and established new linkages with local and international universities, development agencies, private and government institutions. Repackage the school on the air, dub Technogia, and establish a skills training center at USM Abbas. Resource Generation Under Resource Generation, the USM's agricultural and non-agricultural projects continuously generated significant income for the university. Our agricultural projects include corn, rice, fruits, oil palm, while non-agricultural projects include catering and accommodation services, module printing, dormitories, radio stations, canteens, and land rental collection. USM also forged MOA with the Philippine Rice Research Institute to utilize 50 hectares of rice fields at cost of field rice. Administration, despite the pandemic, our university carried out significant infrastructure projects. Among them are the following. The University Auditorium from an abandoned project, construction of lighted covered walks, science and technology building both in the main and KCC campuses. The technical vocational building, concreting of most access roads within the main campus, rehabilitation of burned or smart admin building, the three-story Sibidim building, the three-story CHEPS building, the University Health Services building, infirmary, the flood control project, installation of security cameras within the campus, the women's dormitory, harnessing of solar energy for campus lightings, construction of criminology building, improvements at the Kondo IPAM Learning Resource Center, construction of IMIAS building, Construction of Organic Agriculture are in the Center Building. Construction of Commercial Building and the USM Lead Wall. The following projects were also turned over to the University. Improvement of the Enrollment Area. Construction of Parking Space and Landscaping. Construction of Covered Court and Footbridge. Pag-asa Weather Tower at Usmark. Construction of a student center at USM KCC. Repair and repainting of cyberspace building. New guidance and testing center at USM KCC. Establishment of geographic information system center for high value crops SOC Sargent. Construction of layer house. Construction of administrative building stock room. Construction of two ULS covered courts. Work is almost in completion on the following projects ongoing at USM. Construction of Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council and Security Service Office. Construction of Psychosocial Assessment and Testing Center. The university is committed to provide upward mobility to its employees. USM facilitated the promotion of 24 non-teaching personnel, 110 teaching personnel, Original appointments of 14 non-teaching personnel and 25 teaching personnel. To address the pandemic, the university proactively implemented student and faculty-centered activities which include Sending back home of stranded students through the Oplan Exodus and Oplan Arayat for faculty members who are stranded in other parts of Mindanao. Provision of snacks for frontliners. Distribution of relief assistance to stranded students. Launching of Hatid Dunung program which facilitated the online mode of instruction and of printed modules to students residing outside Kabakan. And provision of medical assistance to faculty, staff, and students through the mobile clinic. The pandemic highlighted the power of our ability to adapt and evolve rapidly and continually. We will come out through these trying times more united in purpose and mission. In the next four years, I envision to do the following. Pre-position the university to cater to the needs of the techno savvy students in the future. Enhance administrative governance 
by strengthening performance and financial accountability, continuously improving human resources system processes, institutionalizing response and feedback mechanisms, foster a gender-sensitive environment in all its internal management processes, and facilitating the transition of USM KCC as a self-governing HEI. Relentlessly pursue relevant and quality education by continuously subjecting our academic programs to review and accreditation, improving learning outcomes through high quality and responsive curricula, and creating innovative learning platforms. Responding to the government's call in its program, Industry 4.0, to produce human resources that will match the demand of the market, offering new programs like the Doctor of Medicine, and other online courses which will transform USM into a virtual university. Improve research quality by anchoring research on the harmonized national R&D agenda. Establishing research partnerships and linkages for collaborative R&D activities with the private sector, NGOs, LGUs, and other funding agencies. Actively pursue utilization of new knowledge and technologies by enhancing product development and commercialization of research outputs. Bring the university closer to the communities by opening tribal campuses within the region, expanding educational opportunities to marginalized communities and individuals. Invest in ICT infrastructure development geared towards improving interconnectivity of all units in the university to facilitate and enhance the delivery of instruction and other services. The pandemic has highlighted the power of our ability to adapt and evolve rapidly and continually. We will come through these times being more united in purpose and mission and we will draw our strength from the values that tell us who we are and what we stand for. Let us propel USM to greater heights and work together towards this common vision. Thank you for tuning in and listening to this virtual edition of our State of the University Address. Have a good day.